astounding story. And it's, it's once again a woman living out loud on the internet, but there is a lot of evidence that's also very loud in this case. Walk me through what happened. Yeah, well, the victim, Melissa Gens, and her boyfriend, Eric Bretz, they, they weren't dating too long, only a couple months, but it was early in the morning, and there, got, there was an argument over her cell phone. Apparently, she had accused him of taking the cell phone, and um, she does admit to police that she was initially the aggressor, that, you know, after um, asking for this phone, she had pushed him. And, um, you know, from there, he, he just attacked her brutally. Now, you've seen those pictures. And he's claiming that he was defending himself, but those injuries to her don't look like he was defending himself. Doesn't seem like equal force because he's accused of kicking her, strangling her, uh, hitting her in the head with a bottle, ripping out chunks of her hair. And um, you know, ultimately, he was charged with domestic violence and strangulation. Um, he had another charge that had been dropped. So uh, if you look at those pictures, the, the whole idea of him defending himself it sort of doesn't add up. Ray, let me ask you, um, th this whole sort of internet sensation, th these pictures that she posted of her injuries went viral. And that seems to not be sitting well with this young man, Eric Bretz, 25 years old, with his very, very wealthy family. By all accounts, millionaire, possibly billionaire family, one of the wealthiest families in Brazil by some reports. And am I mistaken when I characterize that they, through their lawyer, have threatened her and suggested that she's ruining their reputation and his reputation by making these posts public? That's correct, Ashley. You know, it, it's, it's not a secret that people with money, you know, can get out of crimes and defend themselves a lot easier than people who don't. I mean, take O.J. Simpson, for example. So that, that's what they're doing. They're, they're using their money. They have a, a high-paid lawyer out of Miami. Um, he has... Uh, you know, he's going to try to successfully argue that uh, those injuries that were caused to Miss Getz were were really self-defense. So, you know, that that is correct. Um, but you know what? With the with the social media nowadays and the internet, you know, I think that it can take something like domestic violence, which maybe you know a victim like Miss Getz could be stifled in the past, and it shines a bright light on it. On it, it takes it out of the shadows. So. so you know, now that this is out there, he's fighting a, a much bigger force than just one woman. He's fighting a lot of people, you know, mainly people in his own country. But now this story has gone viral around the world and we're talking about it here in the U.S.